And since I don't have any of those classes, let's just go on. Actually, I get the feeling that I'm missing something. In this house, is there... Yeah, Silver Specs. That's what I was missing. Um, put those Silver Specs on. Put those shoes on. There, everyone's all pretty much kitted out. I could buy, you know, even better stuff for everybody, but there's really no point. Fly my dragon ten feet because I'm lazy. Uh, actually, go ahead. Let me go ahead and do this. No, not quick save. Save. Thank you. Yes. All right. Well, I didn't mean to get into a battle, so we're just gonna flee. Thank you. Alright. I saved because we're going to be doing something that is probably kind of dumb. But I really want the accessory that you get for doing this. Alright. Going down this way. Uh, there's another way to cheese this. Uh, I'm pretty much not worried about it because I have a thief. I think you can flee from them. Which we're going to do. Thank you. downs uh, but anyway there's a way to cheese this by uh... no oh that's terrible everything is awful in life okay we'll just heal that. no sense in healing up to full and I'm wasting a lot of uh, resources by doing this now but dang it You could kill anybody but him, and it would be okay! Get a thousand gil, a thousand gil, and I think I am going to cheese it, just to show you. So anyway, you quick save, save and quit. Press any button to continue, blah blah blah. Anyway, when you quick save the game, you go in and uh, lo load your uh, quick save. It resets your in uh, counter, like your in encounter thingy that determines when you're going to have an encounter, and it basically you can uh, take a couple of steps. I don't need to go do Shiva. Anyway, you can take a couple of steps, quick save, go to the menu, do it again, take some steps, go to the menu, do it again, and uh, this will this allows you to. Is there anything down here? I don't think there is. But I'm going to look anyway, because I don't really remember. I Actually, you know what, now that I think about it. I See, I recall there being something right there. Hmm. Whatever. Obviously not that important if I don't remember. And you can free that dude there if you want. I don't really care. Let him rot in jail. Oh wait, is there anything in here? Okay, that's outside. Alright, so I got the... Elven Mantle. Oh, the Elven Mantle gives you a 25% chance to evade physical attacks. It's pretty good. Uh... Gonna raid all of the things before we go speak with the king. Phoenix down to replace one of the ones I used to get my little item. And I don't think there's anything in here. No. Okay. Let's 
Go speak with the king. Hey, king dude. King bro. Gotta stop with the crystal or it'll explode. Uh, you know, but hey, I'm all for letting it explode so I can put Lena in her red mage job. Because she's got a lot of AP to be getting over the game. I'm actually not sure I'm going to be able to even get double cast. Double cast requires like 999 nine, nine AP. That is a lot of AP. But at the same time, uh, she'll only be using that one job for the entire game. So who knows? I don't really want to grind for double Your Majesty, everything went red! Not sure why the king is going himself. That's like the thing that kings are not supposed to do. They're supposed to delegate! Learn to delegate, King Walls. Learn to delegate. Uh, yes, I'm going to go ahead and stay at the end. Yes, thank you. Every time I stay at the end, I have the Lufia and the Fortress of Dune in, in theme stuck in my head. It's like, dun, 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 dun. I mean, that seriously goes through my head every time I stay in an RPG, regardless of what RPG it is, without fail. It also doesn't help that I don't have any music in my ears. I can't actually hear the game audio. So I'm like... It's probably one of the reasons why my commentary is probably a little weird, because uh, normally I have the music to keep me company, and I am slipping slowly into insanity due to the silence. Silence is deafening, people drives you insane. Okay. Waltz, no one cares about you. I do want to go up this. No! I fell. Drat. Okay, up we go again. And get that silk robe. Put it on Ferris, so Ferris can be styling. Yeah, silver specs is yeah, that's, that's fine. It's okay. This time I fell down on purpose. No! No! <laughs> I am just terrible. I'm like five kinds of terrible. Why did I climb that? First I fall down by accident, then I climb up by accident. Oh my goodness. Free Maiden's Kiss. Uh. Yeah, we'll save first slot so I want to leave that one alone in case there's a problem with my recording session here there won't be a problem because I'm willing it not to be a problem but uh, sometimes the world hates you okay so so I'm ready for this okay let's go up go away toads I think those guys do cast Toad on you, and it's annoying. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even want to deal with it. In the PS1 version, those guys are called Wyburns. It's pretty funny. So, this one? Hey, I chose correctly. Okay. So, armlets. Um. No, I want the whip. The Ashura would probably do more damage, but uh, I want the whip for its secondary effect of causing paralysis. A for Ether, always welcome. Pas de Sul. <laughs> now this boss, uh, first time I played this game, he wrecked my face. 
but he's really not all that hard. So, um, he's a physical oriented boss. I'm gonna just steal from him and uh, let's see, let's hit him with the lizard. Since I have that frost rod on, I yeah. And let's see, protect on Trebs. Since he's in the front row. And hit him with the whip. There we go. I do want to steal from him. Just, yeah, high potions. High potions are kind of rare at this point in the game. And, uh, well, you know, I want high potions. Leave me alone. Uh, so I'm going to lever him just, just for shiggles. Level 3. Yeah. Okay, now cut him. Huh. Uh, so you have no, you have the healing staff equipped. So I don't really need the healing staff. So put the flail on. He will eventually become unparalyzed, like he did there. But uh, all I gotta do is hit him with the whip again, and he goes paralyzed again. <laughs> uh, the big thing this boss can do is he has a move that causes the sap status effect. The sap status effect is the absolute worst status effect in any RPG in any game I've ever played ever. Because, uh... Ow. Jerk. This jerk. He just killed Galoof. But anyway, the sap status effect sucks, basically, is what I was trying to say. Uh, let's go ahead and use this down. Paralyze him again. Come on. Thank you. Also, this guy uh, counterattacks when you hit him cause damage to him, he'll like punch you a bunch, and uh, paralyzing him also stops that, so that's another reason you should paralyze the dude. Gloof, I guess you're on heal duty. Get everybody back up to over 100, please. Shouldn't be alive too much longer. And another high potion. So that's some tricks you can do to fight the first couple of bosses. Uh, first boss, you just don't worry about your health. As long as you go in with full health, you don't worry about it. You just go in and uh, attack with everybody. And he will die before he does his little gimmick. The second boss, you hit him with lightning. The third boss, you can silence her and put her husband to sleep. This boss, you can paralyze him with that whip that you get from the previous boss. Fire Crystal and Yang. So, Lena, it looks like you're about to not be able to equip that whip anymore, which is a shame, because the whip is a really good weapon. Uh, I actually like whips in this game. They're... Because paralysis is kind of really good. Let's see, time mage. Where's red mage? Berserker. Red mage. There we go. Summoner and Mystic Knight. Mystic Knights are really good. They basically own everything in the game. <laughs> oh no, poor Hiryu. He's on the island. And see, this right here, it's like, oh, there's a crystal shard there. I can't climb up the two-foot ledge to get it. Because I'm terrible. Two-foot high ledges are the bane of any video game character. They're, they're like the ultimate enemy. They're the true final boss of RPGs.
And apparently Lin is not a very good swimmer. But Ferris being on a pirate ship her whole life probably is. And suddenly I have a craving for cinnamon breadsticks. I apologize, that was random. Now, one thing here is I, I've never really understood uh, as to why Sildra dies. Uh, I mean, I guess I could kind of see it because she basically just swam like through that small inland sea uh, across the ocean after being injured, being sucked down the wormhole, the wormhole, the worm wormhole, no whirlpool. Eventually, I'll say it right. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm not... Like I said, I'm not real sure why she's... Why she dies? Who knows? All right, so now, no, well, we'll do that in a minute, but first I'm going to put Lena in Red Mage. Red Mage! Get those sexy hats. Uh, Red Mages can also use those rods, so that's probably what she's going to be wearing as soon as we get to the next town. But red mages can also use uh, a lot of a lot of the swords, not all of them, and they can't use the most powerful swords. But uh, they can use. Oh, right, King's not there. King's in his bed. Uh, stop being terrible in front of the people. Oh, I stepped on my coke. No. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. So, uh, now we got to go investigate the meteorite and take the teleporter over there. Uh, you kind of know to do this because there is a Karnak soldier in the infirmary up there. And he basically says, well, I was investigating the meteorite over here, and now I'm over here. Where are we? What's going on? And in we go. Zoom. They never really explain how the meteorites work. They just kind of work magic. Or if we were uh, if we were in a Metal Gear Solid game, it'd be nano machines. I've been watching a lot of Metal Gear Solid lately. I actually played through uh, one of the games. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes on the GameCube. I actually played through that recently. I, I know this is not a popular opinion, but I actually prefer Twin Snakes to the original Metal Gear Solid. First of all, it's a lot easier. And uh, I am just a humongous fan of the big dumb kung fu action scenes in that game. Snakes does some like crazy John Woo shit, and well, it makes me giggle. Uh, you know what? I am actually going to kill these guys. With... Thunder. Come on. Oh. Okay. Way to make myself look dumb. Yay, looking dumb! How was I killing these guys? Fire? Was was it fire? Goodness. I guess it was fire. I thought it was uh let's try fire then. 
I was about to say, these guys are pretty easy to kill. There you go. These guys are pretty easy to kill. And, uh, of course, the red mage doesn't do quite as much damage as the black mage. But, like, if you have a black mage and you cast fire on them, it only took me three tries to get the right element. Uh, but these guys are actually worth really good money. So I'm just going to have her go in. And we're going to fire you guys. Oh, okay. I thought that would have been enough to kill them. It was not. Steal. Two potion. You get like 600 gold for this battle. And it's like the only battle that you fight in the woods here. Anyway, so we want to keep going here. Uh, you know what? Flee. We're done. I'm over you, wolves. I got my two battles in, got my 1200 gil. I'm good. Go away. Go away. Thank you. God, the wolves are so clingy. Uh, 